sure you know say people fi get urinary tract infection from staphylococcus anytime you walk out for markets most especially for developing nation you get one word where you go with here staphylococcus 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 now i say okay you don't do make we talk about staphylococcus today now inside this video i will tell you what in be staphylococcus the types of staphylococcus how staphylococcus they cause disease even the type of disease where staphylococcus they cause and then one bonus one where i will talk at the end why people they get problems with staphylococcus every time inside this video i will break them down for you no go anywhere Welcome to Health and Lifestyle with Dr. Fred Dostar. My name is Dr. Frederick Unubohai and uh, I did so passionate about health education. I've been a medical professional, licensed medical doctor here in Nigeria. And I believe, say, health education needs to be as simple as ABC. Now, I make, I they come here, come teach, come break them down for you. Now, if today now your first time where you they come to my page, you are welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. And then, if you don't, they come here every time. Remember, you know how we they drum. Like I always tell you, good life, now waiting, good life, now saying. Before I go ahead, make I give a disclaimer. Everything in this video, now for educational purpose i beg if you get medical problem make sure say you go see your doctor this video does not take the place of a consultation or take the place of you seeing treatment shall we get them yes they very important don't forget to now waiting be staphylococcus or make i first talk about like um why people they always mention staphylococcus everywhere in the market why you see most times they don't know what in staphylococcus be now you make I won't come here, come tell you. You see Staphylococcus, um, now bacteria. And inside this video, you're going to hear many, many medical words. Staphylococcus now bacteria. Calm down, I'll go break them down for you. Here microorganisms. These microorganisms, your eye, you know they feel see them. So inside these microorganisms, we get bacteria, we get virus, we get fungi, we get parasite. So Staphylococcus, eh? Remember, Staphylococcus now bacteria. That is one. Number two, what thing can be this staphylococcus? You see, the origin of the whole word staphylococcus, eh? it simply means grape-like, eh, you know, grape, when grape gather together. Hmm? Eh, eh, and so it be. If you look for staphylococcus under the microscope, staphylococcus simply look like grape, we gather together. So, name be the name, simple, staphylococcus, from the origin, hmm? staph, like grape, cocos. Then they together, nine be all about staphylococcus. This staphylococcus, if it live for anywhere, whether where oxygen day or where oxygen no day, this staphylococcus feed the there. Staphylococcus, I'm very particular about the word staphylococcus. It get plenty children. Hear me, we they call them species. It get many children. One, now staphylococcus aureus. Another one, staphylococcus epidemidis. Another one, staphylococcus saprophyticus. You they hear this name I mentioned so? Yes, then they're very important because each of these staphylococcus they cause you special type of disease. But out there, anything where you go here, yeah, staphylococcus aureus, staphylococcus aureus. Sure, you know, say this staphylococcus, it they everywhere. In day for your skin, we they call them normal skin flora. It day for your nostrils. It day for your armpits, which we they call axilla. It day for your groin and it day your perineum. Now your perineum now wear your private day for men and women. Take note of all these things where I mentioned. Staphylococcus day for your skin, everybody. Staphylococcus day for your nose, your nostrils. It day for your axilla. It day your hair. It day every part of your body. This information they very very important. Next thing where I want to talk about now be say, how does Staphylococcus cause you problem? Or how staphylococcus is the cause problem? We don't they enter medical, medical, medical grammar now. And I go break them down for you. Make no fear. Now there are many, many ways with staphylococcus the cause problem. But because this will not be medical class, I go just tell you one of them. You see, staphylococcus na bacteria. Remember, it they release what we they call toxins. This bacteria you go release small, small your own chemicals. These toxins now they are among the things where they cause problem. So now I tell you the first one. It gets there are about like five toxins where they produce. The first one, eh? These toxins, when you put like some kind of things inside your body, like um some uh, materials inside your body, and staphylococcus day for that material, if you release toxin, this toxin will cause you fever. 
This toxin fi cause you low blood pressure. This toxin fi cause you waiting again. If it cause you rash, yes. And you get one diagnosis, what do they call them? They call them toxic shock syndrome. That one now one of the toxin. Another toxin again fi damage your skin. This toxin eh, it they cause blisters. And when it affects your skin, as you touch the skin, the skin feet tear, feet cause blisters. People can't open for something like how oh, it they happen. That one it attack, attack your skin. It get another toxin again. This toxin it they damage your red blood cell. We they call them hemolysin. Then it gets another toxin, very important for people. We be say chop food finish. Eh? This toxin they affect your GIT. So when you chop food with staphylococcus. They inside don't contaminate the food. It can't release this kind of toxin. After you chop food, you go notice say sometimes the person go come the vomit, the person go come the purge, they get diarrhea. And this thing they occur within about six hours after the person chop, which will be called food poisoning. Now, why I have to talk this one be say staphylococcus they among the things where if it cause you food poisoning. So you don't understand. The so, next one I want to talk about is say, okay, waiting can be the sicknesses with staphylococcus fee cause. These sicknesses then plenty. So follow me as I go to start to the talk with you small, 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 small. Remember, as I tell you, say staphylococcus, they on top of your skin, Abby. It they on top of your hair. Remember, and every part of your body, your armpits, your groin, your perineum. If staphylococcus infects your hair follicle, you see your hair for your skin, hair. If it causes you one infection for that side, we they call them foreign cool. That's one day. It gets how this foreign cool, eh? Go come gather, go they cause you small, 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 small boils around. Go come gather from boil. Staphylococcus, it cause you boil. What we they call carbon cool. And when you see boil, most times boil they get pus, they get fluid, they get dead material. So staphylococcus, they among the things where they cause you boil. From your skin now when staphylococcus can go down a little bit on top of your skin if it cause you one problem what we they call impetigo that is that area will come red sometimes if it also tear which, which can go open cause blisters that one another one then this staphylococcus m if you can't enter inside your skin now come past the on top oh you can ask me okay how staphylococcus will take past my skin go inside when you get injury maybe you fall down your skin uh, can scratch or something cuts you and you know clean them well staphylococcus fee enter now when it enter can't go the lower layer of your skin enter can't go the dermis area if it causes what we call cellulitis this cellulitis everywhere go come red go come they pain you you come back to your body come the hot that's one another one now this staphylococcus if it pass that area of your skin can't enter your muscle when it enter your muscle it can cause you infection for your muscle what we call pyomyositis this one a medical medical grammar relax now when staphylococcus pass your muscle after the muscle now within the year now bone staphylococcus fear affect your bone if it infect your bone it can cause you bone infection the name of the infection now osteomyelitis go get bone pain go get fever and so many other complaints this staphylococcus if it leave bone enter your joints can cause you infection for your joints, which we they call septic arthritis. That joint go they pain you. That joint go swell up. That joint it go hot. To waka we they pain you. That one now one. Here you know say staphylococcus fi enter your blood. Yes, and if you enter your blood, if it give you problem. Now what you ask me say okay, how staphylococcus go can take enter my blood? Make I break them down for you. Remember say whenever you go hospital, your doctor or your nurse won't give you injection. What did they do? That they always clean that area on top of your skin. Remember, they always clean them, Abby. You don't know why they clean them. They, they clean them because from the beginning, I tell you, say staphylococcus, they plenty on top skin. So if they're not clean that area, they just carry needle, choke inside your body, waiting go happen, they go transfer staphylococcus from on top of your skin, enter inside your body. That is why they they waiting, they they clean. So one way way staphylococcus fi enter your blood, now say maybe you they don't know. They can't carry some kind of needle, chook inside, staphylococcus can enter your blood. Now, when staphylococcus enter your blood, it will cause you blood infection. We they call them bacteremia. This blood, if you can carry the staphylococcus around your body, can give you another problem for your body. When your blood carries staphylococcus round, if it carries staphylococcus inside the blood, go your brain. 
if you give you what we call meningitis. Yes. Now, that one, now one. If it's still for your brain, if you give you what we call brain abscess. That one, another one. This same blood, if you carry the staphylococcus, go your lungs. Yes, where it is, they breathe in oxygen. If it give you pneumonia, you know before. Now, this blood, if you still carry the staphylococcus, give you infection for your heart. And this infection, eh, they affect your heart valves, what we call infective endocarditis. That one, another one. Sure, you know, say, people fi get urinary tract infection from staphylococcus. I know say you won't ask me how. Make a break, I'm down for you. Relax. When I they tell you in the beginning, I tell you, say, staphylococcus, they for your perineum, Abi, that's your private area. Now, for women, eh, where you take the piece, we they call them the urethra. That urethra, it day short for women, and it day for that your perineum area. You know, say, some ladies, eh, we don't know how to clean. Instead of making them clean from front to back, they can't go they clean from back to front. Which if it happen, they feel carry this staphylococcus, eh? Transfer them, enter that urethra, where peace till they come out. Now, when they transfer them, enter there, this staphylococcus, if you enter the urethra, can't climb up, enter the urinary tract, can cause them urinary tract infection. Where we say, you have to the peace, you go to pepper you, you go get fever, you go get pain, and some other ones. That one now one. Then, another way, we person if you get United tract infection, they say, you know, for hospital, sometimes we they put catheter, urethral catheter, inside people's bladder. You remember now, for men and women, they go put the catheter inside, put them inside, put them, make person feel peace. You know, say, whenever we want to do that thing, we they ensure, say, everywhere they clean. Because if that place no they clean, you can't carry your urethral catheter, you take it like that. You can't go, they put them inside the human being body, the person body, and you know clean. Staphylococcus, where they are around that area, you can't put them, put them, put them. You go carry an entire wear inside the person's bladder. If you can't give the person cystitis, pain to urinate, fever, this infection says, if you can't walk out, walk out, enter the kidney. Sure, you understand that right now, Abby? Now, the next thing we I want to talk about is the treatment of Staphylococcus. The treatment of Staphylococcus now with antibiotics. So if you think, say, you get anything like infection, I beg you, go and see your doctor because we know they make prescription of antibiotics here, right? Very good. Um, but get one to you I want to talk about right now. Why be say people could come, they get staphylococcus, staphylococcus. They go, they get them. Ah, you go treat them, you go go. You go treat them, you go go. What thing happen? I'll tell you why. Get what thing they call resistance. Most of these staphylococcus don't get odeshi. Ode, she simply means resistance. Means say this antibiotics, no, they work for the team body again. Why? Why? So many people, any small problem we do you, you don't go buy uh, medicine, you don't go buy antibiotics. Every time you drink antibiotics, and you don't know, say, as you drink antibiotics, you they tell these organisms like Staphylococcus how to take they develop odeshi develop resistance so that anytime you drink antibiotics it no go work for the person body now as this thing can happen many many antibiotics know they work again they can't discover one new antibiotics the antibiotics they very very powerful the name now methicillin as they can't they use methicillin now guess what thing happen this staphylococcus can't develop another odeshi we can't they call this staphylococcus methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus. This one is eh, a very wicked problem. Methicillin resistant staphylococcus aureus. Meaning, say, even this powerful antibiotics, staphylococcus don't come get Odeshi. Problem deal. Now, they don't get another antibiotics again. We did they try to use, make it still defeat staphylococcus. Our prayer now say, make the staphylococcus. He knows to get Odeshi to this one because if he get Odeshi, problem, they will. Don't beg you, I beg. No, they drink antibiotics anyhow, make you no go develop resistance. That is number one. Number two, we say, if they can't give you antibiotics, make you drink. No, start small. You stop along the line because if you stop along the line, ah, you don't give this thing pro, uh, power, information to know how to take it in, to take fight the antibiotics. That one, nah, another one. Now, some people go tell you, say, every time where they do test, every time I do test, I do always see staphylococcus inside. Waiting be the problem. Remember, I tell you, say, staphylococcus, they your skin. And whenever we want to take sample, we they try, make sure, say, that place, they very clean. Because if you know they clean, 
and you go take sample anyhow staphylococcus go come enter inside the sample and when you enter they can send this sample now go lab can go test them you can see say staphylococcus day for the result your mind will come they cry hey i they get staphylococcus every time and every time i they take medicine whereas nobody say you get staphylococcus now just say when did they collect the sample then no con they too careful they collect the sample now it makes staphylococcus enter remember staphylococcus they everywhere for your body so no carry your head they hit for war if you know say you reach this point of this video i beg and um, more will do something uh, if you feel drop for the comment section good life Nah, sense. If you know so you reach this point of the video, just drop them inside the comment section. Good life, nah, sense. In English, it simply means um, having a good life demands or needs wisdom. Now nah, it simply means so drop good life, nah, sense. If you know so you like this video and the information we did here, what you make you do? Like this video. I beg, share this video, make people learn. So that they don't go to disturb us as staff in local coast, staff in local coast, staff in local coast. Sure you understand, Abby? Uh -huh. Very good. Then you can follow me on my other social media uh, handles. On Instagram, Dr. Fredosta underscore MD. On TikTok, Dr. Fredosta underscore MD. On Twitter, Dr. Fredosta underscore MD. On Facebook, mm, I don't know on facebook and um, but now just put dr fredo stasha you go see me then drop your questions under this video or other my social media platforms drop your questions i will try to respond and um, answer you no forget to oh, if you never subscribe what you make you do oh yeah click on the subscribe button you know now like i go always talk good life now waiting good life now sense now you go see some other videos after this video end finish where i make we will be very very important for you. Make you try, watch them. Are they come? I will see you later.